Okay, so today I'm going to be playing a game called Derange. A little bit different than the kinds of horror games I've been playing lately. This is a, like a top-down game made with like Game Maker. Okay, I thought this had controller support, but it, I don't think it does. Okay, no controller support. I tried controller support. Right, instead, I guess I'm going to be playing this awkwardly. So, we'll hit new game. Let's see. Casual. Weaker enemies. Plentiful supplies. Um, let's do survival. That's I'm pretty good at survival games. Kind of a medium difficulty. It's in the middle. One can assume it's in the middle. His first words were, don't come for me. We should have listened. Okay, great soundtrack, like, wow. It had been two years since we'd last seen Dr. Prester. He had vanished off the face of the earth after leaving his post at the university. He hadn't even bothered to tell us where he was going. He had always said he would stop at nothing to travel. He always said he would stop at nothing to unravel the secrets of life. Perhaps he'd just become wrapped up in his research. We hoped, wherever he was, that he would find what he was looking for. The game, the, the reason I wanted to play this game, I seen a picture of a tent with blood on it, and that sold it for me. Then, without warning, he sent us an email. Don't come for me, it said. I may not live to see the day, but I know what I'm doing will help humanity in the end. I just wanted to let you know that I'm giving my life for the benefit of you and everyone else. So this is a game on Steam, you know, um, I've got a really bad habit of buying games on Steam and not playing them, so I'm going to try to start playing some of these games. I knew only one thing, Prester was in trouble and it was up to us to save him. We traced the email to its source, we only had one lead to follow. Joel Studler, good job dude, good music. Whoever had sent the email had done so from an isolated location in Massachusetts. Somewhere tucked away in the mountains, we'd find Prester waiting for us. Or, so we thought. Our oh, May 2, 2002. So what is this, early spring? This is like early spring, I think. Derange. So let's see. Let's see what this game... Let's see what it's gonna be like. Aha, we are finally here. Okay, please select the character you'd like to play. A uh, grad student starts with a lighter, can carry two extra items. Starts with a multi-tool. Um, hmm. I'm kind of leaning towards the dude. Let's go with the dude. Let's go with Nathan. By the way, I'm noticing that lots of characters in games are named Jessica. Lots of them. So this is it. Looks like we finally reached our destination. Yup. Look at that house. This old house. Whoever sent Prester's email must be waiting for us inside. From here? This place looks totally abandoned. Come on, Nathan. Let's check it out. Go on. I guess. Leave me here. Use Y as your arrow keys to move, hold shift while moving to run. Use the mouse cursor to examine your surroundings. If you see anything noteworthy, stand in front of it and press enter or lav 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 left mouse to activate it. Use escape or right mouse to access the status screen. Okay, um... Clicky clicky! Oh. Interesting. My mouse changes to a regular mouse, but if I move it up enough, it changes to the in-game mouse. Okay, status menu. Okay, cool. I got stuff. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back out of there. Um, you don't honestly believe that email came from here, right? Front door's locked. Of course. I don't know what else I was expecting. There's gotta be a spare key here somewhere. You should look for it. Key, huh? I'll keep an eye out. 
Thanks a bunch. I'll keep trying this door in the meantime. Yeah, I don't know what you're going to accomplish because it needs a key. But your old buddy Nathan here. I suppose we'll look for the key. So, can I like click on the stuff or do I just have to be near the stuff? This door appears to be blocked from the other side. This one's overgrown with ivy. Vines and cannot be opened if I could just find a way to clear them. Okay. So we got us a good old-fashioned survival horror game with puzzles. Alright. So, the rock? Anything? Maybe the rock? I don't know. This tree is oddly dead looking. Guess it's not important. And let's see here. This, uh... There's nothing. Let me pull up the status menu again. Location, estate, grounds. Oh, no, 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 no. I want... No. A multi-tool. There's no reason to use this here. Could I use my multi-tool on the door? If I can't find something, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll go back and attempt that. Clicky, clicky. It did a funny sound. Yeah, this seems smart. Let's just walk down a path. Just start walking down a random path. Oh, uh, what is this? Is this is this like a hobbit hole? I'm, I'm finding some of the stuff I can't click on, and I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to or not. That's a box, isn't it? Can I use my multi-tool on it? Um. Yeah, I guess not. Okay. Uh, what about this one? This one's unlocked. We're bre breaking and entering. Oh no. What in God's name happened here? All this blood. I sure hope Prester's still alive, at least till I can find that key. Um. His body's covered in cuts and bite marks. He seems to have been dead for a while. Is it zombies? His body... Okay, yeah, so we already examined that. I'm, I'm betting zombies, but it'd be really cool if it was something that wasn't zombies. A portable camping lantern. Doesn't seem to work. Can I keep it? Some kind of houseplant. It hasn't been watered in some time. Okay, um, is this, is this a door? This is a door. Cool. More blood. Box. Can I check that box? Clicky clicky. Nothing. Oh, there's blank notepad here. Take it? Absolutely. We're going to take everything in this game because I'm a hoarder. Locked. Not locked. How much of this stuff can we explore? Clicky clicky. Oh, it's a storage box. Awesome, awesome. Covered with mold. It hasn't been used for a long time. A groovy, moldy bed. Camping lantern. I bet I can cook. Right, right, I, I know this now. This is a survival game. Click. There's a bottle of painkillers here. Take it. I'm gonna take everything. So I see how this works. So my dude's gotta be looking at stuff and then I can click on it. A ladder? Do I wanna go up the ladder or in this closet? Let's check this closet first. Am I gonna get, like, spooked? The door appears jammed. There's a closet trapdoor here at the top of the ladder. I can't possibly reach it. There's a ladder there, my dude. There's, oh, closed. Not not closet. I, I can't read sometimes. There's a closed trapdoor at the top of the ladder. I can't possibly reach from here. Climb the ladder, my dude. I like games like this. They're so simple, but like you can really do a lot, like storytelling-wise. There's a handwritten note pinned to the wall. I just want to sleep, but the house is infested with bugs. Bugs multiplying. Must be a nest somewhere. Won't have peace till I find it. Locked doors keep bugs out. Oh, I wanted to read that. He said, that's definitely not creepy. Let's go back and try to read that. I was trying to scroll down and I closed out of it somehow. Can I not? Can I oh, there we go. Yeah, use, uh, use the arrow keys to scroll down. Must be a nest somewhere. Won't have peace till I find it. Locked doors to keep the bugs out. Left key in the garden since shed. Left key in garden shed since they're too dumb to find it. Now I can finally rest. Hiding in the attic. Peace at last. That's what's in the attic. There's a dude 
Probably a dead dude. It's always a dead dude in these, uh, these closets. Did I not take it? It just said added to my inventory, though, right? Is it still... Ah, torn page, okay. I bet the blank notepad's how I saved my game. Just guessing. Locked. Locked. Stuff. Empty beer and whiskey bottles. Dust has gathered. Empty beer and whiskey bottles, okay. So I need to find the garden shed. Ooh, stuff. A discarded key can seen underneath these floorboards. I can't seem to grip it with just my hands. Now can I use my multi-tool? Uh-uh. Okay. What's this? What is this? This is how I save my game. Nice. Yes, nice. I'm not saving my game. I haven't... Oh, uh, shoe fly. Shoe fly. I haven't actually really done anything. I've just read a lot of papers. Okay, um, can I take this? Please take it. Yes, mine. I'm looking for a garden shed. Hey, there's a light up there. I guess that's where that dude's living at. So, maybe, maybe there's a garden shed um, around this house somewhere. I don't know what I could use that hatchet on. Um, maybe? Can I maybe, like, you know... Just hears Johnny it on this door. Whoops, not not what I meant to do. Okay, no, we can't we can't hatch at the door. Okay. Okay, if you say so. What nothing else in here, right? All right, back outside into the lovely. Hey, there was something there. What was that? I bet it was a monster. Can I go up and behind? I cannot. Um, Alright, I guess I'm gonna go look for some stuff. P -p 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 bug. I'm, I'm gonna go check out that, um... Maybe... Yeah, now that I think about it, I think that that building that I first tried to get into was the garden shed. Do you want to go tell your friend that, um, that we found a dead guy? Hey, you're gonna want to hear this. I found blood in a dead body. I think Prester might be in danger. You found what? Let's keep an eye out for each other from now on, okay? There's obviously something wrong with this place. You keep on looking for that spare key. I'll stay here in case anything happens. Yep, good, good, good call, I guess. Yeah, maybe this is the garden shed. Can I hatch it off the vines? Yes, yes. Um, enter. Hooray! The hatchet broke as well. How convenient. Ooh, a chainsaw! Doesn't seem to be a way to remove it. There's a cottage key here. Take it. Absolutely. Absolutely. A rope frayed beyond use. What is this? Various gardening tools. It doesn't look like they've been used in a long time. There's a bottle of painkillers. Take it. Yes. Absolutely. Anything else of interest in here? I don't think so. Okay, so now let's go and skedaddle back to that cabin. What'd they call it? They called it a cottage. Same difference. Oh, I, I found that by accident. The window's coated with grime too thick to see through. What about this window? Okay, so all the windows are coated with grime. There's something yucky in there. Something yucky given off icky ick. Oh, well, hello there. Was that a wolf? It looked like a wolf. Maybe it's zombie animals. Zombie animals would be cool, too. Very creepy. Can't do nothing with that rock, can I? Now, some of these rocks are incredibly sus suspicious. Hey, the power went out now. And the door is open? The body's gone. Was that was that the body I saw crawling around outside? 
Well, let's go see what's in the attic. Yo, I hear this dude walking around. I hear him walking around. Um. Uh, let's see. Does this key, does it just open up all the doors? Is it like a skeleton key? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna ransack this dude's house. Oh, clicky clicky. Dusty condiment bottles. They are months past their use-by date. Fun fact, most condiments have got so much salt and vinegar in them, they won't really go bad. You know, still check them just in case. Ooh, a knife. Can I use this as a weapon? It is a weapon. You can equip it and use it to defend yourself if an enemy attacks you while you have a weapon equipped. A exclamation point will appear above your enemy's head. Character's head, sorry. If you press enter slash Z immediately, you will strike at the enemy and trigger combat. Combat is resolved automatically with a hidden dice roll. Your weapon will either hit and inflict damage to the foe or it will miss, resulting in a failed attack. How likely your attack is to succeed depends on the weapon you are using. Melee firearms. Okay, cool. So it's like a turn-based combat, maybe? Combat into range is difficult and dangerous. Try to use your weapon only as a last resort. So um, we have a weapon, but we probably want to avoid combat. Is what I'm what I'm gathering from this, what it's telling me. So you equipped the kitchen knife, so it's equipped. Half bottle of bourbon. I don't feel like a drink right now. Okay, I guess we're of a, of age to drink because we look like a child, but most most of these little graphics do. Everything inside the refrigerator is rotten, yucky. A gas stove doesn't appear to have been used in a long time. It's overflowing with garbage. A horrible stench lingers in the air. Mmm, the smell of rotten garbage. It's very pleasant. Pantry is locked. Someone has taped a post-it note to the door. Gotta keep the party's favors safe for the big night. There's a numeric lock attached to the handle. I don't know the code. I don't know the code. Doors locked. Okay, so this is where I'll use that key again, right? Use the cottage key? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. A television! Let's watch TV. A modern looking television. It appears to still be in work and order. We're not clicking on the TV. I want to look at the calendar. A pinup calendar. One of the days is marked February 14th, celebration night. Somebody's gonna have a nice, fun Valentine's Day. Toilet paper! Oh, that's duct tape. I'll still take it. Books? Can I click on the books? Clicky clicky. Fireplace. An ash filled fireplace. There's still some wood left inside, so I guess I'm gonna be starting a fire at some point. Door is locked. Yes, I don't have any use for this anymore. I'll discard the key. The bathroom. Icky. Thick layer of dust is settled on the bathtub. Ooh, a medical kit. I want that. There's a medical kit here. Take it. Absolutely. I'm gonna take everything. It's filled with murky water. The faucet is still dripping. Faded stains cover the inside of the toilet. It hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Also kind of looks like there's blood in it. Um... I'm trying to figure out what I need to do. Because I've got an axe handle now, and I can do stuff with that. I can't possibly reach it. I, I, can I use the axe handle? And what can I do with duct tape? Can I, can I, can I repair this with duct tape? Okay, interesting. Um, I don't think I've found anything I can use with duct tape. Um, maybe the frayed rope. Could I repair that rope that I found in that garage shed place?
Oh, numeric lock. Worth a shot. Worth a shot. Yeah, I've not stumbled across any kind of code. A uh, half full bottle of bourbon. Maybe, maybe it's the post-it note. Maybe, maybe that's the hint. Take the post-it note. Gotta keep the party favors safe for the big night. Maybe 2-14? February 14th? Let's try. Let's try February 14th. Ooh, yeah, it was February 14th. Awesome. Stuff. Spices, condiments, and other perishables. Spots of green mold cover everything. There's a meat hook here, but your inventory is full. Um... I'm going to... I guess I'm going to go put some stuff in that box. I want to carry all the stuff. Store item. I'll put the axe handle in there, I guess. And... Painkillers. I got one painkiller, so I can put that in there. Duct tape. Um, I guess I, I'll just, I'll just, I'm gonna hang on to the multi-tool. Whoops, I think I did put the multi-tool in there. Oh well. So, my stuff's in there. I'll just come back and get it if I need it. Plus, I want to be able to pick up more stuff. Because I want all the stuff. Let's pick up this meat hook. I don't know. Wasn't there a key? There was a key in one of those rooms. Boxes of canned meals. There's enough here to last for months. The little door symbol doesn't always appear. Was it in here? Um, no, it was not. There was a room somewhere with a key that I couldn't reach. That little door opening and closing sound sounds like somebody opening, like, their cabinet. There it is. That's what I was looking for. That is what I needed. What? I can't get my grip on it with just my hands. What What could I use for that? Not, not a meat hook? Well, I'm gonna... Can I combine things? I, I don't know if I can combine things in my inventory. to switch it to take item. I'm... Yeah. Having a hard time. Shift, maybe? Tab? Oh! There we go, there we go. Probably don't want to put all of those in there. Take that. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I can combine things. At least, not in my menu. Maybe I'll get a workbench at some point. Oh! 
Okay, so it doesn't automatically. Taped the meat hook to the axe handle. And I created... Controls are really weird. Okay. What? Isn't that what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to use this manhole opener? Do I use this on the on the attic? Okay. Use the manhole opener to open the trap door. So, I've got a weapon equipped, and we know there's definitely a dude up here. Hey dude, uh... Are you friendly? Please be friendly. Could that be a survivor? Hey, you're not hurt, are you? Can you tell me what on earth's going on around here? What's the matter? Didn't you hear me? Damn it, answer me. The bugs. I can't make them go away. Bugs, what are you talking about? Bugs. I want to get rid of them, but they won't leave. You, the bugs, please help me. What will you do? I'm going to back away from him. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I'll be going now. No, you can't leave. I need help. need to get rid of the bugs. I need to kill you. Can I leave? Can I just leave? Or do you follow me? Okay, I don't think he follows me. Can I just avoid him? Hey, he's gone. Here's a handgun. Take it. Yep. Yeah, the dude's gone. There's a bloodstained diary here. The research team invited me to join them for drinks in the mansion tonight. Apparently, they've made a breakthrough in their research, so it was their first chance to relax in months. We all gotta let loose for a few hours, but I don't remember seeing Dr. Prester joining in on the festivities. I guess some people just don't know how to relax. I saw Dr. Prester walking through the grounds while I was tending to the garden. I asked him why he hadn't been at the party. Apparently he'd spent all night wrapped up in his research. He looked a little strained. I tried to ask him if he was okay, but he just snapped at me to mind my own business and stormed off. That guy's gonna work himself to death one of these days. I found a strange bug feeding on the plants this morning. A disgusting flesh-colored grub with giant teeth and nasty-looking suckers all over its body. I ran to get the bug spray, but that thing was gone when I came back. Whatever it was, I've never seen anything like that before. Flesh-colored grub with giant teeth and nasty-looking suckers. Yum, like a demonic leech. I was woken up at the crack of dawn by John from research banging on my bedroom door. He demanded to draw my blood, then told me to stay inside my cottage for the rest of the day. When I asked if something was wrong, he shrugged and said, just taking precautions. Precautions for what? I'll never know. I'm under strict orders not to leave. I'm under strict orders not to ask what goes on in that house. Saw that weird bug again. The thing dropped onto my shoulder while I was taking a piss and scared me half to death. I flicked the bastard into the toilet and flushed it away. I've had a splitting headache all day. Taking aspirin doesn't help, so I'll hit the sack early. Headache even worse today. Hurts too much to write. I could barely even get a wink of sleep last night either. Headache's still there. Feels as if my brain has been torn in two. Whole damn head hurts. John came back to check on me. Bugs don't like him, so I killed him. Can't sleep. Head hurts. The next page appears to have been torn out. Still hurts. Awesome. So, uh, caretaker's diary added to files. Those bugs he mentioned made him go crazy. What happened here? Are the bugs even real? Are they just a figment of his imagination? There's a utility box key here. Take it. Yep. Any more good stuff in here? Okay, what is this? Antique floor lamp. The bulb has burned out. Where did that dude go? Like, he just disappeared, didn't he? Maybe he turned into a bug and flew away like a beautiful, demented butterfly. Good. Fuck. There he is. Goodbye. No, you stay away from me. Should I try to kill him or not? Like, he's going really slow. He's just kind of moseying around. Hey, there's a power breaker that I've seen earlier. I don't know if I want to attack him, though. I just go outside. Can I just avoid you? No, no, he wants to eat me. The door is jammed. What? Do I have to fight the dude? 
utility box key. Maybe maybe it's for this. Metal utility box. The door is held firmly in place with screws. Um. Well. Use the multi-tool to remove the screws. There's a box of 9mm bullets in here. Take it. Abs absolutely. Nothing, nothing else inside. I guess I'm gonna fight you? Am I actually fighting? I think I'm just dying, aren't I? Near death. I don't think I can kill him. Oh! Smart dude! Smart dude! I may be near death, though, so I'm gonna save a game. Did that actually use... Did not use my blank notepad. Can be used to save the game anywhere. So, okay, so these I can use whenever. Okay, cool. So, uh, the gun? You equipped the handgun. How do I reload it? You reloaded the handgun. Okay, so now I am loaded. Let's equip the handgun. I unequipped it. Okay, so it was equipped the first time. Okay. Is he gone? Is he hiding? Did he go back to the attic? Let's get my medical kit. Oh, did I take the wrong one? This is the controls are confusing me. Where did I get a speaker magnet? I have a speaker magnet now. See right there. Pulled from a TV speaker. I must have got that from that busted TV upstairs, but it I don't remember it telling me that. Mmm, delicious medical kit. Delicious, delicious health. Oh, you can see his little gun there on his hip, I think, is what that is. Alrighty then. Uh, I'm gonna save again because my health's full and I'm good. Okay, let's use a neodymium speaker magnet. Yes, finally. The front door key. Finally. Finally, I can get into that house. You know, if this dude hasn't, like, escaped and went and killed my friend. Go, oh, no. That is a dog. It is a dog. I don't actually know how to do the combat. I'm gonna have to go reread that stuff because it doesn't seem like the combat's working all that good. Seems like I'm safe for now at least. I should try to find a way back into that attic. I'm sure there was something I needed up there. What? You say you think you're safe? From what? I should be able to climb this fence. Hmm. I can't reread the stuff on how to how to do the combat. So he said there's still something in the attic I needed. Okay, we'll go check that out. I guess. Doggo. Yeah, I don't know how to attack this, dude. Was it enter? Okay, it's enter. Ok, 
Okay, let's enter. So he said they was sure there was something else I need in the attic. That bulb, but I don't think I can do anything with that bulb. Can I unscrew it? I don't think I can do anything with that bulb. I'm just gonna, like, forget about it. Bark, bark, bark! No, no, I don't want you. So what happened? Did somebody's, like, herd of, like, dogs turn into, like, zombie dogs? Ouch! There's a dude! That's the dude from the house, isn't it? Watch out! Can I shoot him? Hey, hey, stay away from me! What the hell is that thing? What's going on here? Damn it. We're gonna have to hide from them. Quick, into the house. We'll figure everything out later. Oh, achievement unlocked. Enter the world of survival horror. Creepy house. Creepy house. So I don't know how long this game is supposed to be. Um, wow, what a house. You've never have known it was that big from the outside. Right, first things first. We need to look for... Hey, wait just a second. I'm not doing anything until you tell me what the hell happened out there. What's with this place? What were those things out there? I wish I could tell you. All I know is that it's in their best interest to stay away from them. I was searching for Dr. Prester in that cabin outside and suddenly they were everywhere. Something's definitely gone wrong here. We... Humph, looks like this door will keep him away for now, but how are we meant to get out of here? Excuse me. We're safe for the time being, but we don't need to f figure out what to do next, or we won't make it out of here. There's no way Dr. Prester's still alive with all those monsters around. What we need to do now is get the hell out of here, unless you've got a better idea. Search for Dr. Pr- Ooh, choices, choices. Um, Let's leave. Let's just do the logical thing. You're right. Finding Dr. Prester isn't worth our lives. We need to get out this estate, or we're done for. I'm glad to see you haven't lost your common sense, but we can't just leave the way we got in. Those things would eviscerate us as soon as we stepped outside. A big house like this has got to have more than one entrance if we can find the back door. It could take forever to search a house of this size. We can go a lot faster if we split up. Fine, let's search separately. It's probably a good idea to start from the first floor. I'll try the door at the back of this hall, okay? Got it. If either of us finds anything, let's meet back here and let's be careful. There could be anything waiting for us. Hopefully what was outside was the worst of it. Stay out of trouble, Nathan. I want to find a savey thing, because I, uh... I don't know how long this game is supposed to be. Um, so I'm going to try to break the videos up. A note is printed in an intricate typeface. The time will come at the high noon before sunset. Okay, I want to find a savey. I'm going to go look for a savey really quick. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what I'm doing. I've got one of those things that lets me save anywhere. I'm going to use it. Alright, so I'm going to end the video there, and, uh, yeah, that was the first part of Derange. I'll eventually play the next part, you know, at some point, I just don't know when. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.